Good day everybody, Darren Yankee here with Akawai Farms. It's currently 2.30 in the afternoon on a beautiful sunny Sunday afternoon. Currently, these cattle are on scheduled moves with their virtual fence. And that paddock shift will happen at 2.30. So right now, the virtual fence is telling the cattle that they can go ahead and graze into the next shift. And that paddock is approximately 15 to 20 feet wide. But you see that one's still going to get in a tone yet. It does take a few minutes for the collars to receive the single once that is transmitted out. But this animal here will probably be the first one to find that new grass. It only takes a few minutes normally within the first eight minutes, we'll say, of that shift getting done. The cattle will find that new grass and get into there and start grazing again. As you can see, we want to keep the cattle moving forward onto new grass and not laying down, urinating and pooping on that new grass. So that's why we're giving them small increments at a time. They'll come in, they'll eat and eat and eat until that green grass is all gone. And then they'll start thinking about moseying around, laying down, things like that. So it's like a creep feeder. And this happens every two hours during the daytime. That fence gets moved every two hours, starting at 6.30 in the morning, and then two hours there on after. And then 6.30 at night is the last move. So currently, as of the last three days now, the cattle have been moving for, what, seven times a day, the cattle get new grass. So it's pretty impressive what we got going on with these virtual collars. We are currently in the calving season right now. We got 14 calves on the ground. So the back fence is back there a couple hundred feet. We got one cow, as you can see in the back over there, that has a calf by it. That's the newest calf of the day, I guess. That calf was born this morning. But they also gotta go back that way for water as well. So. We can only move that back fence up as much as we can for water. We do have above ground water lines ran along our fences, but we only have a spigot every 200 to 500 feet. So that's what's really regulating us bringing that back fence up. But for the most part, since we're moving the cattle so frequently, the cattle stay at the front end of the fence because they're always itching and wanting to get into that new grass. It's gonna be a beautiful week here in Southern Wisconsin. They got highs in the 70s, lows in the 50s, a dry week, no rain in the forecast again. So we've been fortunate with a few rain shots we have got over the last few weeks. Today's the extra special day. We are actually using the virtual fence to sort off eight head of cows. We have eight cows sold that are gonna start calving in fall, in September. So this is our first attempt at trying to use this system to get the cattle sorted off. It's kind of hard to explain how that all works, but pretty well we made a paddock in front of where we are. So when the next shift comes, like right now, them cattle that we want to sort off won't get a tone. And they'll be all keep walking forward into that new grass. And then all at once they'll get locked into a paddock that's ahead of the rest of the mob. So currently, right now those eight head are not even assigned a paddock back where they're at. Their paddock assignment 
is ahead of them a ways. But since they're not going to leave the mob until they get all grazing again. But see here, the cattle are just starting to find that new grass. We have some that have encroached into that new grass. The fence has shifted. Now it won't be long and that whole mob just keep watching it go and they'll all, it's all be in there. Right now we are about five and a half minutes into it after a paddock shift. You can see the cattle are anticipating, everybody's moving. One found that green grass, now the rest are heading in. There's still some hesitation yet because it does take a while for some of the collars to get it. They don't all get it immediately. So I do hear a couple of them beeping out there currently. But after they beep once or twice, that single should be connected to their device and they should be all go in. see their heads are down and they're eating. They're not walking around trampling it all in. And this paddock does extend up. As you can see there's kind of a diversion up there, a hump in the pasture. That new shift does go up to there. So if we wait here long enough, we'll start seeing them cattle migrate away from us up in that green strip of grass. We got 88 head in this group right now. And the group is running on about 1.3 acres total for the day. So that 1.3 acres is divided over seven different paddock shifts. Some cows are staying back, but like I say, their calves are out here, so we are calving. That newest one from today is still back there yet. And you can see the little calves out here. The calves have been staying ahead of the cows in that little bit of tall grass, kind of hiding out. But as you can see where that line is, they don't want it to go any farther than this line of cattle. That is a new shift about in there, I'd say. So I don't know, whatever you want to call this, if you call it high density grazing or intensive managed grazing, all we're doing is really creating a half acre paddock begin with way back there where we started in this permanent pasture here we started in a half acre and then just keep stretching that paddock out from there and then bringing in that back fence as we go along and the thing with virtual fence is I can move the back fence whenever I want and I move it sometimes every time the front fence moves I move the back fence up sometimes the front fence will move four or five times before I move that back fence up again. There's so many options we have here. There's a little baby cat. 
have. Oops. Going the wrong direction, I guess. I should have left it be, but. So like you say, we're still trying to get them cattle sorted out of this group. I'm really interested to see how that all works. I'm hoping if I stay out here long enough, I'll start to see them creep ahead of the rest of the herd. But you can hear that tone. We'll come back here and kind of see what we're eating it down to. There's a lot of nice drier matter out here. But uh, we're eating it down pretty short. It's a really nice mix of forage, dry forage, and some new spring growth. cattle manure is looking pretty decent there is some looser ones out here but for this early in the year looking at what the fourth of may today or something like that it's looking pretty good Nice, full, happy cows out here. I think we're about to give them cattle a few hours to get sorted off. It ain't something that's going to happen over, you know, night. It's got to give them some time here. It ain't a quick deal. Because them cattle are also hearing everybody else's beeps as well. So we're like, okay, well, we can't go ahead. Somebody's getting beeped at. But I'll throw an update on the video here and how long it actually took them to move and get sorted. Once I see them all moved out of the mob. There's a little heifer calf. Our calves average about 65 pounds when they're born. But it's just a nice sight. You see they just all turned their head. Like, nope, we're getting beeped at. Can't go any farther. But their heads are down and they are grazing. And that's what we want to see. Keep the feet in front of them and the dirty forage behind them. We do have a nice mix out here. We got alfalfas, multiple different types of grasses, some forbs out here as well. They say, and then we have some dry matter from last fall yet. So it's a nice blend. Every break they're getting, they're getting a little bit of everything in there and holding what nutrients is in the forage, holding it in the cattle. But yeah, it does not take them long to come in, clean up that 
fresh slice. But again, they're eating, resting, ruminating, and then it's time to do it all over again. So you can see what it looks like out there. You can already see the line where the cattle have eaten already. These first 15 minutes that they've been in here. Not even been in here 15 minutes, only 10 minutes. You can kind of see right where the line is of the new stuff and what they've already ate on. There is more in here to eat yet. Quite a bit more, but they've been coming through and nipping all that fresh green grass first. Now what's left is a lot of brown looking stuff. These gals still got their winter coats on yet. A few more weeks, they should be all getting slicked up here. And it's like Layla's guarding the ranger, making sure nobody takes it. pretty impressed of actually and how they find that new grass and I'm glad I got a chance to get out here and show you guys exactly what that all looks like. I really like this H14 right here. She has a really nice udder on her. Nice and square. Well, I guess that's all I got for you today, folks. I'll uh, put in the description here on how long it actually took or if these cattle even sorted off of here. I say we're trying to sort eight head out of 88. And we're trying to do that solely with the virtual fence. I know it will happen. Just how long it takes before it does happen is the question. So, all right, you have a great day.